Hi, I'm Greg. Um, I'm the president of a marketing agency. We were using PayPal. Uh, we switched to Stripe. For more videos like this, click below. We use PayPal and Stripe uh, primarily with our clients who are looking for ways to capture uh, payments in the e-commerce space. So maybe they're building a website um, where they're going to be selling something. They need a way to capture payment um, and collect money. So they'll, they'll usually be choosing between one of those two platforms, PayPal or Stripe. Um, we also use these platforms with nonprofit organizations who are looking to collect donations. Pretty common uh, way that we use both of these. Um, same choice for most of them. Most nonprofit websites looking to collect donations initially are going to be choosing between one of these two platforms, either PayPal or Stripe. When you want to be able to capture payment on, on your website without having to kick people out to some sort of a third party um, platform. Um, you, you don't want to lose trust with your consumer, with your customer by, you know, they're, they're trying to make a purchase on your website and with some platforms to complete that payment, they have to go to that payment processor's website. With Stripe, you don't have to do that. With Stripe, you can keep that entire experience um, inside the confines of your own URL within your own website. So the user has a very smooth experience. They never have to you know, be redirected to some other website to complete their payment. Um, and it's all very, uh, very simple, very smooth. And that's the primary re reason that we recommend it um, over PayPal and other solutions. PayPal is a great platform if you're looking to get something set up very quickly and easily. Um, if we have somebody that just needs to do something very, very simple, um, you know, maybe they've got one product in their store and they don't really care that much. If, if the experience is great, they just need, to, need it to work. PayPal does, does good for that. Um, it's quick to install. It's a little, you know, it's very easy to get an account up and running and to handle that. And, and lots of people are familiar with it and have accounts. Um, people carry balances in PayPal. So it's, it's easy to integrate with many things. Um, same for nonprofit organizations looking for donation processing. Um, you can make a PayPal button very quickly. Um, you know, in under five minutes, you can have that up and running um, and working and installed on almost any website. Uh, both PayPal and Stripe are relatively simple to use and to get started with. Um, they, they generally, for business level accounts, are both going to ask for the same types of things. They're going to want to know, um, you know, information about the business that you're running, um, you know, your, your uh, EIN number, things like that, um, contact information, all of that. Um, once you have the, the business account set up, from there it's just a matter of integrating that into whatever solution you're trying to use it on. Maybe that's a website or a social media platform where you're going to be selling something. There, there's many ways you can integrate that. That process is usually relatively simple. PayPal usually is a little bit quicker and a little bit easier. Um, just by nature um, of how it works and what it does. Stripe needs a little more information because Stripe requires, um, it requires an SSL on your own website if you're going to be running that entire process on your website. And sometimes you have to set up a couple of um, API codes just so that those can be connected and can work correctly. But again, that's a relatively simple process. Both platforms have really helpful um, support documentation and um, live support that's able to kind of walk you through that process. Um, and I would say Either of those could be set up by almost anybody within the course of a couple of hours. When you're trying to choose a payment processor, um, you know, the things that you want to consider and look for, you're, you're going to look for ease of use. Um, how simple is the checkout experience going to be for your customers? Is it going to be something that, you know, is going to be easy for them to use? Because when, when it comes to e-commerce, that's the whole name of the game. If, you're, if your customers get confused, and are unable to complete their payments, you're going to lose business. So you want to make sure that you have a platform that's going to um, make that process very painless, very smooth. And so that's, that's the big consideration you're going to be looking for on both of these. The other thing I would say is the user interface. So what's it going to be like for you when you're going in and looking at your account? Can I see, um, you know, who has paid me? Is it easy to get my money out of this? Um, you know, is communication going to be uh, simple? Um, are there going to be any hiccups or problems or anything like that? Um, and the other thing I would say is just how, how wide is the user base? You want to choose a platform that a lot of other people are using. You want to choose something that's going to be stable, uh, well supported, you know, that has, you know, a successful track record, uh, not, not a fly by night that's going to go under very quickly. So PayPal and Stripe are both very, um, 
commonly used prominent popular platforms and that's why uh, we've used both of them.